After hardly any warning, we were woken up from our beds in our hotel at 4 a.m. and told that we had to get on the bus. We didn't know where we were going to go. We were taken to a building where our belongings were confiscated. We were brought down here. This is the first stop on the press tour. We've arrived to witness an opening ceremony of a new street. The eerie tranquility stood in sharp contrast to the hysteria that was gripping the news media everywhere else. In a perfect example of the information blackout between North Korea and the rest of the world, what was anticipated to be a nuclear announcement was actually the unveiling of a new plaza that had been gifted to the city by their leader, Kim Jong-un. don't seem to know that the eyes of the world are very much upon North Korea and that it's for a very different reason than the inauguration of a brand new street. While the world news talked of nuclear war, our government minders took us to something rather less threatening. This trip to the Children's Palace would be the first stop on a sightseeing schedule which is the staple of any visit to North Korea. A carefully curated PR tour designed to give an impression of stability and prosperity in a place on the brink of war. All of these pieces of art in this room were made by kids here between the ages of 6 and 16. And underneath each piece, there's a plaque which says their name and the age they were when they made it. Um, they look like they were all done by adults, and I think that's the point. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is an exhibition center of flowers, namely two types of flower, which are named after the founding father of the DPRK and his son. They are called the Kim Sung Ilia and the Kim Jong Ilia. What's the significance of the rocket? It is our pride and our the success of our country. Flowers and rockets. Satellite, not rocket, satellite. So this one, that one's a submarine launched ballistic missile. Missile? Yeah, yeah. Safely. 